friends, my name is Coolio and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're taking a first look impressions video for Azure Lane. Now this is a game that I've seen pop up in the comments of, for my channel and other gaming channels that I, I like to watch on Reddit forums, Discord. I've seen this game kind of all over the place. So I decided I want to, you know, make a video about this game. Now this game is surprisingly popular and it's not hard to tell why. Uh, this game is a waifu collector, but it is a very unique one in the fact that its characters, I think, are really, really cool. Now, when it comes to playing games like this, honestly, you want to have the coolest type of characters that you can possibly collect. Now, this game definitely differentiates itself from any other collector game because of the different heroes that you can collect. So let's go ahead and head over to the dock, over to the left, and I'll show you some of the characters I have. Now, this game combines anime girls with real-life battleships. Yes, real-life battleships. Now, I've got a couple of elite characters that I've been able to get through the summons uh, that I'll show you some of my personal favorites. The, one of the first ones I ever got was Chicago, and I just think she looks so cool. She's got these, like, massive, like, cannons on either side of her body with these, like, robotic legs and stuff. She just, she's a really cool-looking character, and I love the, the USA model and everything like that about her. Uh, some of the other ones I really like, I just got a new one. Let me see if I can find her. Exeter, she's actually my secretary. Uh, this character, which I think looks really cool as well. She's got this, like, battleship around the left side of her body. There's just a lot of really unique characters in this game. They all have different rarities, they all have different abilities and skills, active abilities and things like that. Here's another one, Indianapolis. This one, like, she- look at, like, she's got these giant robotic arms. Is she sitting on a nuclear bomb? I think she's sitting on a nuclear bomb, which is so crazy. Um, but this is like, if you're looking for a waifu collector game, this is probably like the best one that you can get because the characters in this game are just a, an absolute blast. I think they're really, really fun characters and they just, they're like the whole reason why you would play a game like this. Now I am going to jump in and show you some of the combat of the game, but before I do that, I need to talk about the formation system in the game. So you can set up several different formations if you want. This is your fleet. Now, when it comes to your fleet, you've got a main fleet and a vanguard fleet. Now, the one that's called, I believe it's the vanguard fleet, is in the front when your main fleet will be in the back. And what happens is, when you're playing the game, you'll have three characters in the front, three in the back, that you'll, you won't be able to see the three in the back. They add more passive bonuses, as well as some certain active skills. The ones in the front are the ones that you're actually going to be controlling. So, you're going to want to make sure that you get the best units in certain spots. Now, you can't put units in the main fleet and the vanguard fleets. They go in specific places. So, for example, if I wanted to swap out this character, these are the only ones that I can actually uh, swap out for for my uh, my main fleet. And if I wanted to swap out my center character here in the front, these are all the other ones I could pick for that one. So, let's go ahead and actually jump into some of the combat in the game. And I actually think this game has a really cool, unique way of doing missions and levels. So, you have this grid system. And you're going to be moving around the grid to attack certain enemies until a boss spawns. There are uh, certain question mark areas where you can get specific items, gold boosts, and things like that. You can even get ambushed and decide whether or not you want to, uh, you know, evade the attack. So if I were to like kind of like move around a little bit right here, we might actually see if we, we're going to get ambushed. Actually, I can't go around these guys, so I will have to uh, go through and fight one of these. So let's go ahead and just head up here and fight this guy real quick. I want to go over to that square and actually take it down. Uh, another kind of unique fun thing this game has is you use oil as your stamina system. But to be honest, the game gives you so much stamina. So, like, at least since I've been playing that I've never... I, I, I don't see it running out very often unless you're seriously grinding like crazy in this game. Also, the game has beautiful artwork. Like, I think this is one of the best... Like, loading screen type... Like, games with, like... One of the, one of the games with, like, the best loading screens, so... Now, combat is your characters are on the left side. You move around with this, uh, this like virtual joy pad right here. Your characters will automatically attack and target whichever unit is closest to them in the front. And you fight other waifus that are also dressed up as battleships. So you'll eventually be doing damage against the enemy, pushing back, trying to dodge some of the. Ooh, like, not like that. Don't do that. Trying to dodge some of the heavier attacks. You'll have characters activate certain passive and active bonuses and then you can activate some of the ones here at the very bottom I am doing really really bad if I can't take out this ship right here in the front yep I am gonna have a character probably going to die here in just a second and take her out boom there we go you can see my characters are on fire so I actually have to get them repaired so 
Nice, you get some items that you can use. They do have an equipment um, section of this game where you can equip like turrets and things to your characters to make them stronger and all that kind of stuff. Now you can decide whether or not you want to retreat. Uh, what happens is if you end up leaving, you're not going to be able to finish the whole level. So you can't actually heal up your characters until you actually leave. So you have to be prepared uh, when you go into some of these uh, some of these levels and stuff. So you got to make sure you're careful. I think you can actually, you can use emergency repairs like what just barely happened, which I'm going to use. Um, this one, are you sure you want to use an elite management team? So you get one a day to bring her back to life, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, you get, um, I'm not going to change my skill line. Go back to the other one. You get these little emergency repair things as you move through and stuff to give them a little bit of a health boost. But other than that, they don't heal up. So you're going to have to be fully prepared when you go into these levels because it can get a little bit difficult as well as just like in other um, strategy games and stuff like that. You want to try to get a three star uh, system. This one says defeat flagships, defeat escort fleet and defeat all the enemies. You're not going to be able to do this all at once. Sometimes you'll have to actually go back and redo some missions to get those three stars, which I'm totally fine with. Oh, that's not good. I just got hurt. All of my waifus just got hurt. Also, another thing, and I'll talk about this a little bit later, is your characters gain level and experience through simply playing the game, but they've also got a dorm system um, that you can use to spend. You can buy snacks that give you a pool of experience that will go into whichever characters you're currently leveling up, and I'll show that to you in just a little bit. Even though my dorm is not decorated at all, and I know some of you guys are going to be like, Coolio, why is your dorm not decorated? All of your waifus are going to be so freaking ticked off. Oh, I just got hit really hard. We're going to be so mad at you because you did not decorate their house uh, nice enough. Wow, I am doing so bad right now. Boom. Look at all that damage. Okay, whoa, this is freaking crazy. And I will say, it's like almost impossible to dodge every single bullet that's going to come at you. Okay, so now we've got... One of my favorite skills, you go ahead and hit this one on the far right and you target. Firing from the back lane, repulse. Boom, boom, doing some serious damage. Let's call in my fleet of airships. Oh man, that was like a crazy level. And things do get progressively harder as you play through the game. Nice. And you gain experience, you level up, you become stronger. You can see my, uh, my vanguard fleet is not very high. So I'm going to have to try to level them up a little bit better. So... Uh, before we continue, uh, I've showed you some of the combat. You can see there's the boss level. You know, actually, let me just go ahead and show you. Um, oh, it, I'm actually blocked. I can't get to the boss just yet. So what we're, what I'm going to actually do is let's just go ahead and head back. I'm going to leave them on the mission for right now. You do have... Um, this game, honestly, like is really free-to-play friendly, which I, I was actually surprised. But the game gives you a lot of these, like... I don't... Like, wisdom cubes, that's what they're called, to summon uh, heroes... Which I'm going to show at the end of the video. But what I want to show you right now is the dorm section. There's a lot to this game. There's a lot of content. Um, as you can see right here, two of my characters, Indianapolis and Exeter, just got to level 11. Because they just ate all of the supplies or the snacks that I just gave them. So, she's asking, I need more food. So, if I go to hit give food, I can use... Um, I, I, I think you can just buy them. I, think, I don't know if there's like if these get refreshed daily. But you can restock your food for your waifus so they can hang out in their house. And then what happens is over time they'll actually eat or use those supplies to train up the certain characters that you have going on. So I've got these two currently hanging out and chilling in their dorm. I literally have no- this is like the smallest dorm ever. If I go ahead and hit manage, I think I've actually got some coins that I can use. I want this one but I, do, I just don't have enough. Uh, let's see, what, what can I put in here? Look at that chair, that cloud sofa. I can't, I can't buy it. A Saturn table? Yeah, let's go ahead and buy this. Buy. And I believe you can buy those coins for premium currency if you want. Um, or no, you can buy diamonds. That's the premium currency to buy a lot of this furniture and stuff. Let's see, where's my furniture? My Saturn. Holy crap, that thing's so big. <laughs> go ahead and put that just right there in the center. Perfect. Done. Save. And there we go. Now I've got that nice Saturn table. You can go to the shop that I just showed you about. You can use diamonds. Premium currency to buy things, but you also get these like house tokens simply by playing the game too and uh, completing daily missions and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really, it's surprisingly a really great free to play hero collector. I've completed a mission and look at that restore snacks in your dorm room and I've got some house tokens. So we'll go ahead and collect all those. Bada bing, got some oxy cola, and then if I want to, I can go back and, uh, you know, 
you know, buy more furniture and stuff for my character. Also, you can see right here, I can get a character if I complete the special mission chapter one kind of a thing. They just, there's a lot of stuff that this game gives you, and I'm not going to be able to cover everything, and I apologize. If you guys want to see more about the game, let me know down below. Uh, I'll show you quickly the, uh, the equipment system. They have gears that you can equip to your different characters. I don't really have, oh, I can't do it because she's in battle, but you can equip guns and stuff, make them stronger, give them different firing rates and all that kind of stuff for your different characters. Now I'm going to show you, and I actually really do like this summoning system. Now with this, you've got limited time builds. This is like a limited banner for certain characters that you can collect. Then you can get light uh, based weapon, uh, here, or waifus. These ones do fast damage, fast movement, things like that. Heavy artillery, and then specialized units here in the end. So I'm actually going to work on the limited builds. Now the game gives you a lot of these wisdom cubes. This one costs two wisdom cubes and 1500 coins in order for me to build it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start build and I'm going to do maximum. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I want to do my maximum, which I think I can do four. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit confirm. So now I've got my ships currently being built and I don't know what they're going to be yet until they're finished. But I've got one that's going to take an hour and a half to finish and one that's going to take four hours. However, the game gives you a good amount of quick finishers or you can buy quick finishers to finish building these units and I actually really like that about this game. The game gives you a lot of free to play options uh, for it. So we're going to use one of my quick finishers and we're going to finish my four hour construction one and see and see if we get something good. So let's go ahead and hit confirm. Cross your fingers. What do we get? Okay, we got repulse again. All right, that's fine. Now you can only have a certain amount at, uh, at a time. I am not sure if you can actually boost or get more of these quick or like more of these uh, building slots. I'm just not entirely sure on that just yet. So let's go ahead and let's finish a couple more of these. Do a couple of summons before the end of the video. Okay, we got a rare. That's Shropshire. She's kind of cool looking. Okay, yes, lock the ship into place. We've got two more. Let's go ahead and hit that. What do we get? What do we get? Okay, cool. We got Suffolk. All right, let's go ahead and lock that in. And then we got one more to finish off the video. Hit confirm. Cross your fingers. We get at least an elite or higher. And we got Portland. You got it. You got to admire the uh, <laughs> the amount of effort the people put into the art because the art is really high quality in this game. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more Azure Lane gameplay footage or videos coming in the future. See you, my friends.